Hi, I'd just like to show you the changes I've made regarding using a user interface to edit the player profiles.txt file. The player profiles.txt file is a text file that lets you give the avatar prior knowledge about yourself and for you to customize the avatars. You did need a PC or laptop to do this, but now you can do this from within the app as follows. If you press this new menu item at the bottom, you'll see a user interface and a keyboard has appeared. You type in values into the big white box at the bottom. There are various buttons and text displays. The bit at the top lets you know the current category you're working on. So at the moment it says set minimum spawn distance for avatar in meters. This is the minimum spawn distance for the avatar and it's got a value 1.75 already written because I've used this before. To the right there's an explanation for each category. So this explains the minimum spawn distance uh, bit and also gives you other information. For the user interface, there are several buttons. There are buttons to go to the next category or previous category, which I'll demonstrate. So I've just pressed next category and that's taken me to enter my name, which I've already done. Uh, you can cycle through the categories like this. I have used this before and that's why there's values already there. Or you can go back again. So I'll just demonstrate how I can import values with the controllers. First of all, I'll move the keyboard by pressing the move button and position the keyboard like that. And I'll just delete what I've already uh, entered by pressing the backspace button. And I'll enter Chris again. As you can see, there's text autocomplete, which is quite useful. Once you've entered a value, you must press the enter value button at the top. You must do this for the application to accept the value that you've entered. You could also press the enter key on the keyboard, but that has the side effect of the autocomplete stop work, stops working when you do that. I'm not sure why, I'll have to get around to looking at that. So for now, if you could just press enter your enter value button at the top when you've entered your value so I'll do that now and it goes on to the next category as you can see I've already filled some of it well I think I filled all of these in I'll demonstrate using the keyboard now so I'll put the controllers down and hopefully hands will yeah hands have appeared so you can touch type now so I'll just type in dev I wish I was a developer for professionally, but I'm just a hobbyist, unfortunately, but there you go. So I'll enter that by pinching on the enter value button. And it goes to enter my hobbies. I've already done these, but I'll just demonstrate. You can use the controllers as well if, if you want. And then I'll press the enter value button. So these are the the first part is the, the the information you want to give to the avatar about yourself. If once you've finished doing this, which I'll I'll just forward to. This is the, the last user information category, miscellaneous info about yourself. Once I go to the next category, you start customizing the avatars, and you start by setting the character name. Uh, as it says on the top and plus the the explanation on the right so as you can see I've already entered Lola for this uh, you enter what you want so I'll just go through to the next category now this there's a problem with setting the voice at the moment for some reason whatever voice you choose here and you can listen to the voices if you go to that web address that's listed on the right or you can see the list of voices with a description if you press the hand trigger so that's the trigger that your middle finger rests on. And there's all the voices with descriptions of what they're like. Press the middle trigger again to get rid of it. But yeah, as I was saying, the voices aren't picking up, unfortunately, on the in-world servers. I'm not sure what's wrong. 
I'm in touch with them. So at the moment, this customizing the voice isn't working, but all the other customizations are working. So yeah, you enter the various information here. And you've got different categories at the top with descriptions on the right. So I'll just cycle through those because there's four avatars. Hannah comes first in the customizations. So if we just go through all of Hannah's customizations to get to the next avatar, which I think should be Jen, which we will get to in a second. Yeah, Jen comes next. So you start again with Jen then. And I think then Ben comes and uh, Tanya. You don't have to do any of this. All of this is optional. You can just customize only one avatar if you want, any particular avatar you choose, or you could just input your own user information. You don't have to do anything. It's all optional. One thing you must do is once you've finished inputting your information is to press the save and exit button. Otherwise, it won't save anything. If you want to exit the process without saving anything, say you've made a mistake, you know, you've changed your mind, press the exit without saving. But if you want to save, press the save and exit, which will take you back to the main menu. So that's just demonstrating the new user interface. You can still use a PC or laptop to edit the player profiles.txt file if you choose to do so. It's up to you, or you can use a new interface. So that's all anyway. I just wanted to demonstrate that to you. Thanks for watching. Take care all, and goodbye for now. Thank you.